Hello students, this is Sachin Pandey and I welcome you all in the assessment of listening skills for half yearly examination of class 11th. Dear students, I am going to read out a passage and after that I will share a link on Google Forms in which you will be having 10 questions of 2 marks each. So first of all, you have to listen to this passage very carefully with rapt attention and then you have to open the link which will be given in your class whatsapp group and tick the right option and ensure before the submission please ensure that you have filled all the necessary columns so i hope you must have understood the sage of science einstein was sitting in a depressive and pensive mood one evening his eyes were brimming with tears the pain was evident on his face. He peeped out of the window of his room. The sun had set a few minutes back. The sky was filled with a reddish glow. At the sunset, he felt that it was the humanity that had sunk into devilish darkness and the reddish glow in the sky was the blood of humanity spilling all over the sky from earth. With tired steps, he walked back to the chair and settled down. It was 9th of August, 1945. Three days back, he had felt the same agony as if someone had torn him apart. He was deeply hurt and depressed when he heard on radio that America had dropped an atom bomb on the Japanese city Hiroshima. Today, within three days, another atom bomb was dropped on another city, Nagasaki, and lakhs of people had been killed. He could not sleep that night. He was thinking, he was pondering over the, this dilemma, how he had drawn the attention of the American President Roosevelt towards the destructive powers of an atomic bomb. He had thought that this would be used to scare Hitler and put an end to the barbarism that Hitler was up to. However, Roosevelt kept him in the dark and made false promises. Eventually, he had abused Einstein's equation of E is equal to mc square that resulted in the destructive experiments. His actions had made science and scientists as murderers. Einstein kept on thinking for a long time. Eventually, he slipped into sleep. When he woke up in the morning, there was a new dawn in him too. The atomic threat had transformed his heart. The next day, he decided to disassociate himself from the scientific policy of the government and all governmental institutions. He decided to open educational institutions for children, adolescents, youth institutions where along with science, spirituality will be compulsorily taught. To inaugurate this institution, he had invited two great philosophers. Bertrand Russell and Albert Switzer, 10 other great scientists who had also won Nobel Prizes were also invited. They all saw different Einstein, not a great scientist but a sage in him. The institution was opened by garlanding the portrait of Mahatma Gandhi. While garlanding the Mahatma he became emotional and said with a lump in his throat, I bow down to the great man who fought for independence of his country through non-violence. He could do so because he was a truthful man and a true spiritualist. Those who teach science should be taught spirituality too. Without harmony between science and spirituality, the destruction would continue unabated. A few years later, this institution was built. A Japanese delegation came to meet Einstein. At that time, Einstein broke down in the meeting and said, 
he spoke these emotional words you can give me any punishment and i will accept it anyway i have decided to lead my life in penitence the japanese were moved by his gesture his sincerity and forgot their grief thank you very much